Good day. Today we are going to discuss a problem on five number summary. This is your stat tutor. So our goal is to find the five number summary, find outlier and construct box plot and then determine the measures of central tendency. So the problem states reported high temperature in degrees Fahrenheit for selected world cities on an October day are shown. Okay, so what is the first step? We will be using the calculator TI-84. So the first thing we have to do in the calculator is enter data in L1, list one of TI-84. In order to do that, we will press the second button, and then plus, which is on top of enter, plus on top of enter, okay? And then number four, okay? And then we get clear all list on our calculator screen, then hit enter. It says done, okay? This step clears the memory of TI-84. Then we press the stat button, which is in the second row of the calculator, the stat button. And then we select number one, number one, press number one, which is edit. Our cursor, the black rectangle is sitting on L1 right now. First line in L1, where we will start entering the data. So we will enter, the, type the first number, 62 and then hit the enter button. Enter button at the right corner, bottom corner of the calculator. Then 62, 72, 66, 79, 83, 61, 62, 85, 72, 64, 74, 71, 42, 38, 91, 66, 77, 90, 74, 63, 64, 68, and 42. Once we have entered all the numbers in L1, okay, we then press the STAT button, again, which is in the second row of calculator, please, STAT button, over, over here. It's in the second row, right over here, STAT button. Okay, STAT button, then highlight calc on the top row. And then we select number one, okay, which is, gives us one where stats. Notice the first line is list, which is already set up as L1, list one. And then the frequency list is the second line, keep it empty, and then bring your cursor down on calculate and hit enter. So bring the cursor down on calculate and hit enter. The first line you get is the sample mean X bar 68.09, okay? Now we want to draw a five number summary of this uh, data set. So what are the five numbers? Towards the bottom of the screen, you will see, see the mean X is 38. Then Q1, first quartile, is the second number is towards the bottom of the screen is the first quartile 62. Then if you scroll down with the down arrow key, you will find the median equal to 68, Q3 is equal to 77, and max X, which is the maximum number is 91. So these are the five numbers in your five number summary. Now we want to find out if there is any outlier in the data set. For that, we need to find out IQR, which is the interquartile range, Q3 minus Q1. In our case, it is 77 minus 62 is 15. 
Now multiply 1.5 times the IQR or 1.5 times 15 is 22.5. Now we need to calculate the lower outlier boundary, which is Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR, okay? Or 62 for Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR is 22.5. So the lower outlier boundary is 39.5. The minimum number in this data set is 38, which is below the lower outlier boundary. Therefore, 38 is an outlier. How do we calculate the upper outlier boundary? We do Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR, or 77 plus 22.5, which is 99.5. We notice the maximum number in this data set or the highest number in this data set is 91, which is below 99.5. Therefore, there is no outlier on the right. So there is only outlier on the left, which is 38. No outlier on the right of the data set, okay? Now we are going to make a box plot out of this data set. So, in order to make a box plot on TI-84, what do we do? We press the Y equal to key at the top of the calculator, okay? Actually, we press second Y equal to key on the top of the calculator. Press second Y equal to key on the top of the calculator. And then select number one okay, which is plot one. It should be on and in the second line, which is type, select the fourth type of chart, which is a modified box plot. Now press zoom and then nine. And you get a modified box plot on your screen, okay, which shows an outlier with the square box on the left which is the number 38, which is below the lower outlier boundary. There's no outlier on the right. So this is your modified box plot. Uh, what are the boundaries of the box? The left boundary is Q1, the right boundary is Q3, and the line in the middle of the box is Q2 or the median. Notice in this case, the left line, the line on the left from Q1, which is called whisker, extends only up to 42, not all the way up to 38. 42 is the next highest number after 38. The left whisker only extends up to 42, not up to 38, because 38 is an outlier. Whereas on the right, the right whisker from Q3, the horizontal line, extends up to the maximum, which is 91. And that is because 91 is not an outlier. Another point of note for this data set, the mean is 68.09 and median is 68. So mean is almost equal to the median, okay? Any of these two numbers can be used as the measure of central tendency of this data. What are the modes? The modes are the numbers that are repeated more than once. All of these numbers have been repeated twice in this data set because then all of these are modes, okay? I hope uh, I explained well how to do this type of calculation using TI-84 to find the five number summary, to find an outlier, to do the modified box plot and to find the central tendency. Thank you. See you later.